welcome. We are live at the Grand Hotel here in Tijuana, Mexico, where we're just days away from an action-packed fight night. We have some up-and-coming fighters who are ready to showcase their skills and talent on Friday night. Our main event features Tijuana's very own Angel Tashiro Fiero and his opponent, Brian Samarriba, in a 10-round bout for the WBO NABO title in the lightweight division. I'm going to toss it over to Eddie Hearn, who's going to get speaking to the fighters. Eddie? Well, buenas tardes, Tijuana. Welcome back to Mexico here, ahead of a huge night of boxing this Friday, live on the zone around the world. Of course, Mexican Independence Weekend, and I believe one of our strongest cards in Mexico so far. Of course, headlined by the hero from Tijuana, Tashi Fierro, in a big fight as he gears up for a shot at the world lightweight title. But some huge fights, all Mexican fights, interim world title fights as well, some young prospects as well. The return, of course, of Erica Cruz looking to fight for a, a second world championship uh, in, up down now at super bantamweight. But we go to the first portion of this press conference, um, start with two young heavyweights looking to make their name, of course, the undefeated Carlos Cardenas and the undefeated Federico Pacheco as well. Carlos, we'll start with you, with Kieran, our translator as well. Welcome, undefeated. Big opportunity for you on Friday night in Tijuana. Primeramente, vamos a iniciar contigo, uh, Carlos. Aquí estoy. Um, obviamente, inicias con un récord así. Eres invicto y es una oportunidad muy grande para ti el viernes por la noche. Sí, es una gran oportunidad la que se me está brindando. Eh, vamos invicto, llevamos un, un buen récord eh, y pues esperemos mantenerlo igual. Sabemos que enfrente tenemos un gran rival, pero pues hemos Eso es lo que hemos trabajado y por lo que vamos a, a dar todo arriba del ring. Yes, you know, it's a big opportunity for us. We, we come in, as you say, um, completely unbeaten. We've got a good record and we'll be hoping to maintain that good record. We're up against a, a tough rival, but we've done our hard work and we'll be giving absolutely everything in the ring. Thank you. Federico, welcome. Um, second outing for you in Mexico. Good performance last time out. A tougher test this time as well. And I guess that's what you want now. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Kevin, Eddie, and Frank for letting me on another matchroom show and let me showcase my skills one more time. And yeah, I'm, I'm facing a more experienced uh, undefeated fighter. We got the same record. So I did not take this camp light, and um, I'm just very excited for Friday to showcase all my skills. How's camp been with your brother, of course, Diego Pacheco, ready to headline himself in Los Angeles? I guess you got one eye on coming through on Saturday night and maybe even jumping on that card as well. Yeah, for sure. You know, he's already in camp, like, 10. We, he's been in the camp for, forever already, but we're excited for LA, man, because that's our hometown, and my brother headlining in his backyard is a dream come true, so I'm ready to, to showcase my skills this weekend so I could hop on that card as well. I look forward to a fun fight, two unbeaten heavyweights kicking off the TV portion. Now we go to the WBC interim world title at featherweight, of course, 126 pound between the champion Sabrina Perez and Australia's Sky Nicholson will start with the champion. Sabrina, welcome. Um, a big fight for you. Um, of course, coming in as champion and massive opportunities ahead if you win this fight on Friday. Sí, primeramente, bienvenida. Obviamente eres eh, la campeona. Um, una gran oportunidad para ti el, el, el viernes por la noche y más oportunidades más adelante si llegas a ganar la pelea del viernes. Buenas tardes, muchas gracias. La verdad que sí, para mí es un sueño, un sueño que esperé hace ya 20 años cuando arranqué esta linda carrera, así que estoy feliz, contenta y vinimos con todas las pilas para ganar. Muchas gracias. Yeah, as you say, it's um, it's a great opportunity for me on Friday night. Uh, it's a dream for me to be here. I've been 20 years in this, you know, wonderful sport and I'm looking to give absolutely everything on Friday to continue. You said in an interview earlier that you're prepared for, for war on Saturday night. You're going to bring the fire, you're going to bring the heat in this fight. We expect an explosive performance from you. Si sí, dijiste en unas entrevistas previas que va a traer guerra, vamos a ver el calor, el fuego, eso, todo eso vas a traer una pelea explosiva el viernes por la noche, supongo. Sí, sí, hemos trabajado muchísimo. Vamos a dar un, una batalla, un muy, muy lindo espectáculo. Así que para que el cinturón vuelva a casa, Argentina. Yeah, that's it. You know, we've been working really hard. You're going to see um, a battle. That's what we've been working on. So you'll see this on Friday. Thank you, Sabrina Sky. 18 months as a professional. I believe this is the fifth country you've boxed in, but get serious now. Shot at the interim world champion. 
and this time, as I said, taking on the champion away from home again and a big fight for your career. Yeah, um, I'm really excited, obviously, first time facing a champion and these are the fights I've been asking for, this is what I want, uh, this is where you'll see the best me, um, getting in with someone who's coming to win uh, and yeah, I'm really excited, I've, I've put in a really, really good camp and I'm feeling very confident for Friday. Yeah, a few changes to the team, new strength and conditioning coach and Alex, I see former British and European champion Bradley Skeet there as well with Eddie Lamb. Team looks to be gelling well, well and, and probably been your best camp yet. Yeah, I've got a, an amazing team around me. Um, camp couldn't have gone any better and uh, I'm ready to, to make a statement win on Friday night. Finally experienced opponent said she's, she's come in for war. You expect a, a tough task ahead, an aggressive opponent, but ready for whatever comes on Friday night. Yeah, we've prepared for anything and everything and um, I'm sure she'll bring the heat and I'll be bringing it right back. Well, great cracking fight, the interim world title between Sabrina Perez and Sky Nicholson. And of course, as I said, two undefeated heavyweights will kick off the action. We'll have heads to heads up here before we move to portion number two. Thank you. Well, welcome back to Tijuana. A couple of cracking fights here on the undercard of a huge night of boxing this Friday, live on DAZN around the world. Firstly, we go to an all-Mexican fight, a tremendous fight. One, a young man that we've been told a lot about. Uh, it's Kevin Crespo, of course, um, in a big fight against Christian Olivo. And Christian, we'll start with you to speak to Kevin. Everybody talking about this young man, a huge puncher, all action, ready to fight at home on Friday night. Todo el mundo está hablando de, de este gran peleador que quiere esto, obviamente, eh, tienes muy buena pegada y listo para dar un gran espectáculo el viernes por la noche. Eh, claro que sí, este, pues estoy contento, eh, llevaré un gran combate el día viernes, voy a dar todo de mí arriba del cuadrilátero, me preparé para esto y estoy seguro que puedo, puedo salir con la victoria. Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, a great fight on Friday night. I've prepared really well for this and I'll be giving my all to, to get the victory and put on a good show and get the win. A lot of people know about you in, in Mexican boxing, but people will be tuned in around the world. What, what should they expect from you on, on Friday night? Sí, muchas personas saben de ti en México, pero este viernes van a estar pendiente de ti, las personas de otras partes del mundo. ¿Qué pueden esperar de ti el viernes? Pueden esperar un gran combate, daré la mejor versión de mí. Y pues espero el día con ansias que se llegue y pues a, dar, a darlo todo arriba del cuadrilátero y estoy contento, emocionado por la oportunidad y vamos con todo. They can expect a great fight. You know, you'll get the best of me on Friday night. I'm really anxious to get into that ring. I'll give absolutely everything in the ring and I'm really delighted and excited and also grateful for the opportunity. Thank you, Kevin. Christian, welcome. Um, you're facing a, a very talented, aggressive young man. People tell me this is going to be a great fight in Tijuana on Friday. Bienvenido entonces, Kevin. Sabemos que vas a tener una pelea difícil el sábado por la noche. Muchos están hablando de tu oponente. Tiene talento, tiene agresión. Va a ser una gran noche y pelea el viernes. Así es. Muchas gracias, Eddie. Un saludo a todas las personas que nos ven. La verdad me siento muy contento de estar participando en esta gran función con grandes peleadores. Va a haber grandes peleas. Y me siento preparado y listo para afrontar este reto con, y salir con la mano en alto, sobre todo. Vengo tranquilo eh, y listo para, para dar lo mejor de mí esa noche. Es el fin de semana del de inicio de nuestra independencia y van a ver una auténtica guerra mexicana esa noche. Yes, yeah, so first I have to say thank you very much for the opportunity. It's great to be 
on this card with all these great fighters. I feel, to be honest, I feel really prepared and happy um, and ready for this challenge. I feel calm and relaxed and ready to go into this fight and to have on such an important weekend as it is Mexican Independence Day, you're going to see a Mexican war in there. Well, we look forward to that. These cards synonymous with Mexican wars and you're going to see one between these two, Crespo against Olivo. And another great female fight for the card, of course, earlier this year in February at Madison Square Garden, Erica Cruz had one of the fights of the year against Amanda Serrano for the undisputed 126-pound title. This time, her opponent, Melissa Parker. Uh, Melissa, welcome. Um, Brian Cohen's bringing these, you know, these hungry young fighters to us. It wasn't so long ago, Alicia Baumgartner came over to the UK with a big upset. This has this kind of feel of someone that's been looking for their opportunity for a long time. You're ready to, to take this opportunity against Erica Cruz on Friday. Yes, sir. Um, thank you for having me, Matchroom. It's such an honor to be able to be on this card and showcase my talents against someone who's such a good fighter as Erica. So I feel well prepared to be able to showcase my skills and put on a great fight because I know whenever she enters the ring, she's coming to fight. Obviously, you've been looking for this opportunity for a while now. Every time I speak to Brian, he's been putting your name forward and, and just a case of, of waiting for the moment. And the moment is a couple of days away. It really is. That's one of the things that you have to tell yourself when you start out turning pro because my amateur background doesn't matter anymore. So now I'm starting from the beginning. And once you get your opportunity, you're excited because you know all the hard work you put in and what you're ready to do. And I believe that I belong on this level and this fight's gonna show why I should be fighting with Matchroom and fighting for belts. Thank you, Misa. Erica, welcome. Um, just a tremendous fight at Madison Square Garden last time. Now dropping down a division, ready to try and become a, a two-division world champion in 2023 or, or perhaps 2024. Primeramente, bienvenida. Fue una tremenda pelea que, que tuviste con Amanda Serrano en, en, en Madison Square Garden. Obviamente, ahora has bajado la división, estás peleando ahora en, en, en Gallo. ¿Y crees que es una oportunidad para ti convertirte en campeón en dos divisiones diferentes o en el, en el 1223 o el 24? Eh, pues muchas gracias, primeramente, por la oportunidad de pelear en un día tan importante, 15 de septiembre. Eh, quiero darle a México, eh, igual que todas mis batallas, una noche mexicana espectacular. Eh, me siento honrada por la pelea que le di a la campeona Amanda Serrano. En un futuro quiero una revancha. Digo, vamos paso a paso. Me siento bien en peso super gallo porque yo inicié peleando en, en esta categoría. La oportunidad se dio después en pluma, sin embargo, pues estamos siempre eh, eh, recibiendo las puertas que se nos van abriendo en el camino. Eh, quiero agradecer por esta oportunidad a Melisa, eh, bienvenida a México, Melisa, y pues invitarla ¿no? a que demos una gran noche el 15 de septiembre, estoy segura que va a ser una guerra, de mi parte así es, me conocen, entrené al 100% y nos vamos a ir con la victoria primeramente Dios. So first and foremost I want to say thank you for the opportunity, um, it's really great to be able to fight on such an important day, on the 15th of September. Um, what I'll give you is a, a Mexican battle, and that's what you can hope for. You know, I'm really happy with my performance that I put in against Amanda Serrano, and in the future, I'd love to get a rematch with her, but we have to take it step by step. And in terms of the weight, um, fighting at this weight is not a problem for me because I actually began my career at this weight, and then I moved into Feather for various opportunities. Um, but I have to say thank you to Melissa as well for coming to Mexico, and what we'll get in this fight, definitely on my part, is a war, and I'll give 100%, and God willing, we'll come out victorious. Well, thank you both. Uh, two wars here for Friday night in Tijuana, live on zone around the world. Crespo against Olivo, and Erica Cruz against Melissa Parker. Don't miss it. We're going to face them off now. Thank you.
Well, welcome back. The final stage of our press conference ahead of a huge night of boxing, Mexican Independence Weekend. This Friday, Tijuana live on the zone around the world. A great undercard, but a great main event as well. Angel Tashi Fierro against Brian Zamaripa. This is going to be an all out classic for you on Friday night. This man to my right has already proven to be one of the most exciting fighters in the world. And they tell me the man to my left is ready to put it all on the line on Friday night. Brian, we'll start with you, welcome. Um, people telling me this is gonna be a great fight. You always come to fight. You know this man throws so many punches every time he enters the ring. And this is a big fight for yourself, your career, and the lightweight division as well. Yeah, it is a great fight for me. Uh... It's a pleasure to be here. I'm very thankful with Matchroom. Uh, and thanks for the opportunity. We're ready to bring a war to Tijuana for, for Friday night. I'm ready for this. Uh, just thank, thanks a lot for the opportunity. I'm going to demonstrate what I'm capable of. You've obviously seen this man fight before. You like your, your chances in this fight. As I said, all action, always there, all in, always in front of you. And no steps back for you on Friday night. Yeah, I'm sure he's coming, he's going to bring some good stuff to the table, but how I said, I'm ready for this, and I've been training all my life for a moment like this, and I can't believe I'm here, so I'm going to just get in that ring Friday night and prove what I'm, prove my best, give, give a great show for, for TJ and for the, for the world, and thanks. Yeah, talk us through that, this opportunity for you, obviously. Fierro has been fighting on these TV cards. He's got himself in the top three with a WBO looking for a shot at the world title. You can take all of that on Friday night, you know, of course, here in Mexico, but also broadcast around the world. What would victory mean for you personally on Friday? Well, victory Friday night, it's, wow. It's, it's going to mean a lot to me because I've been looking for, for an opportunity like this all my life, so it's going to be great. And I'm ready for this. I'm, how I said, I've been training all my life for, for a moment like this, and here it is. I'm going to just take the moment. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Tashi, welcome. Um, you have a hungry man in front of you here. You used to be the hunter. Now you're the hunted. This guy is coming with everything on Friday night. Sí, una pelea enorme para ti el sábado por la noche. Tú has sido en el pasado el cazador, él, él te viene a cazar el viernes por la noche. Entonces, cuéntanos un poco cómo los sentimientos acerca de la pelea del viernes. Sí, tenemos una pelea uh, muy importante en puerta. Sabemos que él viene atrás ahora de mi cinturón. Ya me tocó ser el, 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 la presa una vez, ahora, ahora soy el tiburón. Eh, no me intimida en ningún, en ningún aspecto. Quiero pelear con los mejores y, y creo que no va a tener que ser problemas a Marripa este viernes. Yes, yeah, so it's a very important fight that I've got coming up. You know, it's almost like he's the shark that's coming for me. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not intimidated by this challenge that I've got in front of me, and I'm looking forward to the fight on Friday. A lot of people are talking about your shot at the world lightweight title. Um, JC and Andres said to me earlier, "One more fight, and then we want the world title." Sometimes they're the most dangerous ones. You can't afford to slip up. This weekend. Sí, hemos hablado con tu equipo, con JC en el resto, y han dicho que una pelea más y te tienes que tener una oportunidad mundialista. Pero también es un momento peligroso porque es un momento donde no pueden haber tropiezos y, 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 y errores. Sí, sabemos que estamos a una pelea de, de un título del mundo. Es por eso que un, tengo un, otra mo gran motivación para, para derrotar a Samarripa. Es un peleador que respeto, que sé que es valiente. Y vengo a dar un, darle una guerra a la gente. Cuando los dos mexicanos suben al ring, es una guerra segura. Estoy, de, estoy seguro que así será. Pero si quiero ser campeón del mundo, tengo que acabar con este viernes y, y demostrar que estoy listo para dar el salto para, para ser el próximo mejor de las 135 libras. Yeah, it's true, and that's you know an extra motivation for me. I know going into this fight, we've got Samaripa is going to come in and he's going to do his best to beat me. You know, I'm, I respect him um, as a fighter. He's coming for war. When you get two Mexicans going into the ring, you're guaranteed a war. But if I want to be world champion, I need to um, take this step and beat my opponent to show that I'm ready for my world title shot. And finally, Tashi, Friday night, Mexican Independence Weekend, Tijuana in your hometown. It's going to be a crazy night 
for you and your career on Friday. Finalmente, fin de semana muy importante, fechas importantes, la independencia, independencia mexicana. También estás en casa aquí en Tijuana. Va a ser una noche de locos el viernes por la noche, ¿no? Sí, en un día bastante que estoy en mi casa. Después de tanto tiempo regresar, tengo una gran motivación. Entonces, estoy con mi gente. Día de la independencia, eh, mejor noche no puedo tener, derrotando a San Barripa y yendo por un próximo campeonato del mundo. Yeah, so, you know, it's great to be fighting once again at home after so long uh, for not having been here. It's an extra motivation for me, obviously, to be fighting for Mexican Independent Day. And also to, f to face an opponent like Samaripa. It couldn't be a better weekend to be fighting. Well, thank you, Angel. Thank you, Brianne, as well. Thank you. It's going to be a tremendous fight on an action-packed card in Tijuana this weekend. Friday night, don't forget, Mexican Independence Weekend, live on the zone around the world. We have got a fantastic night of action for you and an incredible main event as Angel Tashi Fierro looks to make his charge for the world lightweight title against Brian Zamparina in a classic fight. Don't miss it all live on the zone around the world.